Good evening. I'm Joe Netherworld, and I'm here with your daily tarot card reading for December 30th, 2013. One more day I can say that. Well, I've uh, about 38 hours or so to say that. Anyway, um, we're going to do our daily tarot card reading. We're, I'm not going to do a year in review uh, tonight, of course, or tomorrow, but probably on the first or second I might do a special uh, edition just so we get the whole year in review, which would be a much bigger spread. I'm still contemplating that. It might be too long for YouTube, but for now, we're going to do a three-card read. We're going to pull three cards, but we're going to, first we're going to pull our main card, our, our what the, you know, the main card, what today is really about. And then we're going to pull uh, qualifier cards that kind of um, give us the left and right side, the the conflicting energies, the uh, the the power that's hidden, and and basically the clar clarification. But let's see what we we are now. Um, so strange as years gone by. It feels like I don't know. It feels like I'm, it feels like I don't know spring. Like I, I don't feel like it's the end of the year. I feel like it's almost the beginning of, of last year. But you know, of, we all have those days, right? We don't know where the hell we are sometimes. It's 2013 still, right? Yeah, for another day and a half. But our main card up is, I think I'm going to go with this one, is uh, Wheel of Fortune. And I'm going to take these, these two jumped with it, so I'm taking these as my qualifiers. You know, I can do that, it's my reading. They kind of jumped up and showed themselves to me. And uh, so, you know, in this last two weeks, the Wheel of Fortune has come up almost two or three times, which is a great, it's a great energy. Wheel of Fortune showing up that many times says that, like, that there is chance it's still involved it's not always and not everything's so black and white it's really showing that hey take a chance things can change without um you without, without any whether you work or not on it it's going to change things are going to happen opportunities are coming and going good and bad of course um we have the nine of rods which is after the eight of rods which is turned up the other day which is confusion and a wall the nine of rods is about taking all that stuff that's blocking you and turning it up and organizing it and getting it straight. So this is a great progress card that shows that like, yeah, anything that's in your way, you could straighten out whatever's in your way, fix it and make it work for you. Great card um, with the Wheel of Fortune, which means think, you know, things are going to happen, you know, luck, things will happen in good ways. You'll get that phone call that says, yeah, you've got the job or this person's willing to work with you or that person you wanted to date is willing to go out with you again after some confusion. So good card there. On the other side of that, it's the Four of Swords, which really I look at that as the, it's the rest after battle. Some people look at it as like a, a memorial card, death card, things like that. But like in this instance, I feel here, it's coming across to me very strongly as, um, what's the best way to put this? It's coming across strongly as resting after a battle, taking some time, finding some, uh, what's the best way to do that? Finding not, uh, not even rest, but finding some solace and to sit back and, and really almost in a coma-like sleep without anyone interfering with anything, relax and see what, what remains to be done. Right now, on both sides of this, there's a strong force of organization. What remains to be organized and fought with the Four Swords is organized, it's not scattered, it can be, a, a it can be dealt with. Clarity is really today what, what today's about, and the Wheel of Fortune seems to be bringing some random luck your way. And besides random luck, it's um, almost random clarity like all of a sudden like you know you need to sometimes have very disparate situations work together to offer you clarity and that's what's happening today and i think that's great because tomorrow being new year's eve you want your clarity before new year's eve you want to be able to see things and know things before it becomes new year's before you get so caught up in the the uh, the, the concern about resolutions and parties and things that you find your 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 clarity today but it's definitely showing what i like about the nine of rods it's kind of quietly off to the side and, and being a a qualifier here, excuse me, um, is that it's showing that you know with mentality and a little bit of luck, you can organize the things that have been disorganized and working against you. So this is uh, interesting and and positive, but it requires action and requires not knowing every detail, but it requires you being willing to act and organize and and just take a little extra time to put things into perspective. Mostly in the real world, work world. Um, the physical world, what you do and who you are and what you do in the real world. But there is a sort of, um, there's a romantic and a, and a supernatural element to this in that it's reminding you to kind of get in touch with your relatives, get in touch with your lovers, organize your feelings and emotions and be able to move forward with them. And have a little faith and trust in things. Today, 
though I don't like to recommend this or I don't give out lottery numbers, um, but this is a good day to gamble. It's a good day for gamblers, it's a good day for playing the lottery, it's a good day for taking chances. So take some chances. Uh, besides even take chances, um, have some faith in chance today. And I'm going to leave you with that. I think that's the best way to, 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 to end this. And I'll be here tomorrow night, New Year's Eve, crazy as that will be. And with that, um, have a very magical day and a contemplative night. And I'll see you tomorrow.